Welcome to the Access Fee for Service Provider Training Presentation. This video is a short presentation to provide information regarding the prior authorization requirements for a behavioral health residential facility, provider type B8. During this presentation, we will refer to a behavioral health residential facility as a BRF, BHRF. Behavioral health residential facilities must verify the member's health plan enrollment prior to submitting their PA request and prior to admission to the BRF. Behavioral health residential facilities must follow the PA requirements set up by each Access Complete Care Plan, which may differ from Access Fee for Service. All behavioral health residential facilities are required to submit a request for a prior authorization for a fee-for-service member to Access before the member is admitted to the BRF unless the admission is urgent. To begin, we will show you how to navigate to the prior authorization requirements webpage. First, click on the link, Plans and Providers. On the left-hand side of your page, scroll down and select Fee-for-Service Health Plans. On the left-hand side, scroll down again and select the tab, Prior Authorization. Next, select the tab, Prior Authorization Requirements. You have now navigated to the Prior Authorization Requirements webpage. On the Prior Authorization Requirements webpage, scroll down to the heading, Services that Require Prior Authorization. Directly below that, click on the link, Behavioral Health Residential Facility Documentation Requirements. There are three topics that we will go over during this presentation. The initial prior authorization, continued stay authorization request, and additional requirements. The initial prior authorization. Documentation has to be submitted prior to the Behavioral Health Residential Facility admission. If admission is urgent and documents are from the crisis clinic, a member's treatment provider, or the TREBA, then admission notification must be sent to Access VFSM on the day of the admission. We have provided a link to the forms for your use. The admission date has to be written on the documents. The documents must be completed by the outpatient or inpatient treatment team, not the admitting behavioral health residential facility, and must include the following. Behavioral health assessment done by the BHP or co-signed by the BHP. Treatment plan that has recommendations for the members to be admitted to the BRF. Members have to receive treatment at the BRF for the BRF to submit claims for payment. Members cannot receive treatment from an outside provider and only live in birth. If the member goes to a day hospital treatment program or intensive outpatient and only comes to the birth to eat and sleep, then the birth cannot submit the claim for payment. The birth can bill code H0018 only for full treatment days. If a member needs additional treatment done by the outpatient provider, this must be written in the treatment plan. The birth has to notify the TREBA and or outpatient team of admission and start care coordination. The next topic is continue stay authorizations. Upload documents to the PA portal and to include date span requests, nothing else has to be done. Documents that may be needed, the latest behavioral health residential facility assessment, including the 72 hours from admission assessment done by the BHP or co-signed by the BHP. The latest treatment plan, not older than 30 days from the submission date, signed by the BHP and the member. Additional requirements. Access must request additional documents, including but not limited to the daily member schedule, daily group notes with group topics, connection to the member's treatment plan, and details of the member's participation. This concludes our presentation. To view additional presentations, you can visit the Access Provider Training webpage at www.azaccess.gov. We will show you how to navigate to our training webpage. On the main Access webpage, select the tab, Resources. On the right-hand side of the page under Training, select Fee-for-Service Provider Training. You have now navigated to the Division of Fee-for-Service Management Training webpage. Thank you for watching this video.